Hello and welcome to the Daily Data Display Room. I'm the Daily Data Logger. For every day that the gallery is open to the public, I'm collecting data about 10 different aspects of the day-to-day -day life of a human specimen. At the start of each day, the data I collect is used to reconfigure all of the items you can see around me, creating a display that changes on a daily basis, reflecting the life of the human specimen. I'm going to explain to you what all of these things around me represent and then describe the different scales on which they can be adjusted each day. Above me, you can see a ball hanging from a length of cord. This item displays the results of an experiment to test whether there is a correlation between the outside temperature at the specimen's location and the number of cups of tea it drinks on a daily basis. The outside temperature reading is taken at 12 noon each day using the digit UV monitor and atmospheric thermometer. To record the number of cups of tea the specimen drinks, I monitor its beverage consumption carefully. Every time it has a cup of English breakfast, Earl Grey, Assam or Redbush tea, I mark the ongoing tally in my notebook. In the daily data display room, these two readings are represented by the height of the ball above the ground but also by the size of the ball itself. Over there you can see a scale marked on the wall. This shows the variations in height between the lowest temperature of 14 degrees C and the highest of 24 degrees C. There are five possible balls which can be displayed on the cord, ranging from the smallest one, which is a 16 centimetre diameter white, black and red football representing one cup of tea being drunk by the specimen, to the largest, which is a 34 centimetre diameter red, yellow and blue beach ball, representing five or more cups of tea being drunk by the specimen. If there is no ball suspended from the cord above me, it's because the specimen didn't drink any tea yesterday. So, if these two measurements do display a correlation, we would expect that the hotter it is outside, i.e the higher up the ball is suspended, then the less cups of tea the specimen would drink, i.e. a smaller ball. The final piece of data to be displayed in the daily data display room is a variable which will only occur on one day for the duration of the exhibition, but which may have dramatic effect on the rest of the data collected when it does. This variable is whether or not it is the specimen's birthday. In the daily data display room, this is represented by the disco ball sitting just above me here. If it is the specimen's birthday, the disco ball will be on, and if it's not the specimen's birthday, it'll remain switched off. If you are lucky enough to observe the daily data display room when the disco ball is switched on, it could be worth you looking out for what effect this might have had on some of the other variables in the space, such as the number of people the specimen has spoken to, represented by the quantity of miniature mirror balls on the football fan, or whether or not the specimen was drunk, represented by the red police light just here. 